Welcome to the update section of the Learn by Doing Season 1 Project 3. Now, some of you have said that A, the plugin has been updated, there have been changes, and please help me out, basically. Now, pretty much everything is the same except for several things, so we're going to talk about that. Okay, so before we begin, for your information, if you ever need an older version of a GitHub repository, you can find it over here. Scroll down and you should find 5.2 release over here. But we don't have to worry about that, so let's focus on 5.3. Now once you download it, everything is pretty much the same until you get to the point where you inherit the Touch Engine Blueprint class. So let's go and open Unreal Engine and go over there. Okay, I'm now in Unreal Engine. You should already be at a spot where you have the talks asset loaded and you already created the blueprint class and have it in the level here. And of course you can load it in here. And as you can see, things have changed. So all you need to do is to focus on the independent, the 30 um, update rate. And if you load it correctly, you should see your inputs. And I've put two in here. And then there's like a new sort of pop-up message that says you should increase the cook timeout. Uh, so I just basically doubled from 0.3 to 0.6. And if you go over here, this is what people have been talking about, which is that the event that I was using called on outputs receive has changed. So this is for reference in the future. Let's say we have a 5.4 version of touch engine. Now the developers actually leave quite a lot of helper tools for you to understand what's going on. So obviously what people have been seeing is that the events I was using before is no longer included. If you go over into the touch engine component and you go down into the events down here, you can actually hover over and see what the developers have left for you. Now, if you go down to on end frame, it says called after receiving the outputs from the touch engine. So this is what we want. All right, so now that you know that, you can go ahead and click plus to add it into your event graph, and this is what you have. Basically, this is gonna be your event tick on the touch engine side. And after this, everything is the same. So, you know, everything here that we talk about, and if you go over to the level here and run it, you should be able to see that the value that we put as two will come in. If we wait. Okay, as you can see, two is here. And now if you hover over the camera, you can see that it reacts. And from what I hear, uh, the tick performance from Touch Engine is better. So and I think that's great. And um, there's even now texture support. So this is pretty interesting. Okay, so you should be able to continue with the tutorial or the course on Patreon. And I hope to see you in the next video.